We're back on The Chef, you and I, with probably one of the funniest guys I know, Chef Glenn Reed. And you know, the nice thing is that you're a happy chef. I've met chefs that I wouldn't want to be around because they're so depressed or whatever. What's the deal? I mean, tell me, what keeps you happy? Yeah, working with people. With people? Yeah, working with people. And they're, um, Have you ever they, run they'll always surprise you. Right. Now, we were talking before the break about, I thought you had water in here, but you didn't. Tell me what you meant by that. I meant that I need to salt the vegetables to push the water out. So that actually the, West, the vegetables have water in them and you're... Leaching the water out. That's it. You're leaching the water out. Okay, so you at home that didn't know that, this is what this means. Okay, so what's next now, Chef? Uh, the next, we're going to start on the next portion of the uh, Thai tacos, which is the Yum Wun Sin. Okay, let's do that. Okay. And so how do we do that? Uh, we have the water boiling. Okay, you have the water and boiling. Once the, once the water has come to a boil, we're going to add the boiling water to the mung bean noodles right. and the carrots. Right. Uh, is to, can uh, we can we show this? I yeah, want to show absolutely. this so that you see this. This is what we're talking about. These are rice noodles, correct? No, they're actually mung bean noodles. Mung they're bean rice. rice. No, they're mung bean noodles. No rice involved. No rice involved. And the reason I chose this, um, not only is it typical Thai street food, right. but it doesn't have any carbs involved. Well, that's really important for our. This is really important for our folks at home because our show is a healthy cooking show, and you're a healthy chef. So this is really important that there are no carbs in here. And then you have, what, um, is this like, um, how, how much of a carrot, is that a whole carrot? It's probably half a half a Half a carrot. So this is going to, actually, uh, the water's going to be put on those, right. or we're going to put them in the water, right? Or are you going to pour the water over pour it? pour the water over it. Okay, so tell people what happens with this type of, uh, of noodle. It's not really a noodle, it's what? Um... It's a composition made from uh, raw mung beans. That the are, beans that are, themselves. That are uh, processed and turned into noodle. Okay, and, and you can see it, a lot of times you can see this kind of stuff on television where they actually show you how they make it. Right. But um, then it just sits there for a few minutes, okay, not what, a long what the, time. What the, um, what the mung bean noodles do is you're actually making them relax okay. with the water. Okay. Uh, you're not cooking them per se, but you're rehydrating them Right. and making them relax. Right. And when you first, when you um, put the water over them, let them sit for a while, they won't seem like they're quite cooked. But then mm -hmm. once they you're cooled, you cooled them off. Right. And they're at, and they sit for a few minutes, they'll um, become slightly uh, tacky. Okay. And they'll relax and be soft. Right. And that's but, one of the things I did something with this type of noodle uh, with a friend of mine who's from the Philippines and she uses this all the time. And they're beautiful. Yeah. And they also use rice noodles too. Yeah. Correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. So are you gonna pour that water over there mm -hmm. now? Right. Okay, so you wanna do that? Okay. Now that'll just sit there for how long, Chef? Um, five or six minutes. Five or six minutes? Okay. But um you want to give them enough time to process uh -huh. and not under process. Right. You, you, they've got to be tender, otherwise you're looking at problems. Okay. Um, so there's no sense in getting a big hurry about it. They're, they won't overcook. Right, because they're not this, boiling. Right. They're, they this just is a simple water thing. Up. It's not right. going to overcook. So right. you don't have to worry about it. Get back to it. Test it. Okay. It's not necessary. All right, so what's the next step besides that? Now, we're gonna, I'm going to watch the clock, and it's going to be five minutes, okay? Then what? Um, mm. Mm -hmm. We'll move on to the items that we have to incorporate into the mung bean Okay, noodles. so what would that be? That would be uh, cucumbers. Okay. We're going to do a cucumber. Well, i got an English cucumber. Okay, and I'm going to take it off for you. You think, but you can. So look at all that. How much do you want? The whole thing? You tell me, buddy. I think uh, half that cucumber is going to be enough. Oh, you think? Okay. All right, we'll do that. So we're really having fun. Tell me something. Who's the funniest character you've ever met in in your world of being a chef? You know, we 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 visited the funniest thing that ever happened to me in the kitchen, and I never answered you. Yeah, you didn't answer so me. So I need to answer you. Because Please you do. You need to know this. Okay, okay I'm listening. I have to. I still have to take a breath. Um, take a breath. When you're my wife and I first started working together, right. I was in between jobs. I was yeah. working at an airport coffee shop. Airport coffee shop, okay. 
Okay, she was very raw. Um, she had okay. worked in the jewelry business up until this time uh -huh. and didn't know that much about food. Right. So, okay, day before Thanksgiving, I need turkeys for Thanksgiving, right? Right. Okay, she goes to the store, she gets turkeys. Right. I come in the next day, six o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. she has all the turkeys. Yeah. They're as hard as bowling balls. <gasps> no, because they were frozen. They were all frozen. And what are you going to do? So I put one in the commercial dishwasher with no soap to try to thaw <laughs> oh, it out. No. I put one in the sink with warm water and try to thaw it, thaw it out and put the other one in the microwave and try to thaw it out. I had one that was fresh, so I immediately threw it in the oven. So you can imagine the chaos that day of me trying did. to put out. Thanksgiving dinner with frozen turkeys. Oh, wow. So. I know the feeling I did for 79 people in my place in Turkey. And I asked them for stuffing because I, you know, I asked them to, or dressing. I called it dressing. Right. So I used to work with the Hilton and the Sheraton hotels because what they do in Turkey is totally different than what we do here. A lot of home cooks boil the turkey. They don't bake it. But wow. the dressing they thought I meant was dressing for your salad, not dressing. So I had to make enough dressing for 79 people. Huh? So, so, um, so where does this go next? Into a vessel. Into a vessel. Okay. What so vessel? You pick your vessel. Like pick the, my vessel. The clear, this one? The clear one, probably. The so clear everybody one. can see how this goes. Okay. Hold on. This right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Well, that was simple. So far, right. it's very simple. Very simple. You can do this at home. This is not hard at all. So. And then you were going to ask me about something else that was funny. Right. right. I wanted to ask you something else. And I'm going to rinse this off for a second. I'll be right back. Hold on. And let me ask you, what was the other funny thing now? All kinds of funny things happen to me. You know, it's it's hilarious. You, people don't know what chefs go through every day, and for things not to. Oh, I have to tell you one. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I used to I used to run a home for the elderly, and you know when the sh chef didn't show up or the cook didn't show up, I got to do it. Well, on the menu one day was lasagna. Uh, they didn't have any ground beef at all. All those wonderful people got vegetable lasagna. <laughs> they got no lasagna with, with any meat at all. And it was really funny. You know, because, I, I don't think that lasagna absolutely had No, that I meat. don't think so yeah, either. either. No, no, I don't either. But the people did. They went, where's the beef? And when you're talking about old people, they're always looking right. for the beef, right? So it was pretty funny. Okay, so now you're, you're actually working with your limes and getting them right. soft, right? Yeah. And rolling them. And now you're going to... Now you're going to cut them, right? Now, do you ever use a juicer, or do you just use your hand? I have, but I, I, um, if you have a commercial juicer, you've got to tear it all down and clean it. So yeah. sometimes it's faster to squeeze it out than it is right. to break down the machine. Okay, so, so. You're, you're using three li uh, limes, three limes, right? Three. Okay. Now what are you going to do? I think I'm ready. I think you're ready. Yeah, I think I'm ready. So okay, that, so do you I'm... need a strainer? Yes, Do you need a strainer? Okay, so we'll get you a strainer, and that is... Wait a second. Right here. So we need to bring that over here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I will move this stuff right here. Okay. I'm going to bring it over. Right. And then do you need a bowl to put all this in, in the end? Actually, uh, when, after, I, uh, after I cool the noodles, uh -huh. I'm going to uh, dump, them out, dump them out on the board. Okay. So all I right. can... Uh, so I can kind of mince them so okay. it's not so stringy. Okay, that's good. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that. Can you get a good shot of that? Um, now we're going to chop that all up, just, right? Just slightly. Slice it. Okay. Easy. Kind of, yeah. Oh, I can hear that crunching, and that's the actually the carrot, too, right? Right. Okay. All right. Now what? <clears throat> okay. Do you want me to rinse off your thing? Sure, well, great. I'll do that. Okay, so that way you have everything cleaned off. It's important to keep your board clean. Okay, so let's do this. Put that down there. We're just lime squeezers. Right, go right. Now we're doing the limes. Okay, you're going to squeeze the lime in there. And you have great hands for that. 
right? Piano hands. And... Actually, I played bass guitar. So. Oh, do you? My dad was a jazz musician, and he was a pianist. I, mean, I haven't played in about a year, but well, you but should. I, I you was should. playing for a long time. I played with a uh, actual an alternative band. Oh, great! You should. <laughs> that was we playing should like the grunge music out of Seattle. They were all oh, like really? 15 years younger than I was. Aww. But but I enjoyed it. It was Let high energy and it was fun. But it was. Now this I, is I didn't a trick. fit exactly. They, they would, Good uh, luck. Good luck. Uh, That's hard for me. Yeah. I don't know why. But I had been playing bass guitar for so long right. that I could play anything that they played. Oh, okay. I said, just play a few notes, and I'll pick it up, and I'll play it. I right. haven't, I've, heard, I've never heard the songs. But But when you're a musician, you just kind of, you know, I remember we used to have jam sessions um, at our house. And... Um, my dad had not only a trio, but he had an orchestra. He had everything, and he. Pl I, you, I don't know if you're too young for Kathy Carr, but he, uh, Kathy Carr, actually sang his songs, and she was on Lawrence Welk. She was all over the place. Not like Vicky Carr. That's somebody else. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, Kathy Carr. You can look her up. Okay, now what are we doing? Now I'm I'm punting with soy sauce. Okay. Because I'm not sure. I'm not used to making quite this amount, so I'm kind of. You're kind of judging fence. it. Yeah. Okay. Now, what do you have right there? A little there? bit of pizza pepper. Ooh, that's good. Go right ahead. So that's maybe a quarter of a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon I that he's I think it's going to end up being about a teaspoon. A teaspoon? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't want to. You know, most chefs, most cooks that learned how to cook, don't do it with measuring spoons and stuff like that. Okay, now what are you going to do next? I'm going to add in the uh, light soy sauce. Right. Um, now, classically... <clears throat> What's used in this in this salad is a fish sauce. A fish sauce. But in order for me to make this a vegan, I have to use soy sauce. Okay. <gasps> okay. And you know I'm allergic to garlic, so you have not done anything <laughs> that any, has any garlic, you right? Any garlic, right? No garlic, at all. <clears throat> which no is garlic. a challenge right. sometimes. Go so ahead. anyway, for the hospital, we have a large indigenous population in Las Colinas. Right. So we try to make as many things vegan as we possibly can. Right. So it's easy to turn this into a vegan salad by just adding soy sauce instead okay. of fish sauce. Okay, that's fine. So let's see you do it. And then we just mix it? Yep. Okay, can I mix it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just mixing it up like that, right? Yep. This looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Kind of just pull it from the bottom. Pull it from the bottom, like that, yeah, just right? Like that. That's good. Okay, and it gets every little little piece out there, right? Right. Okay. All right. We've got it, man. That's cool. In a minute, okay. we're going we're gonna to check it for uh, soy sauce. That's, okay. That's the, that's the only um, okay. wild card in this bunch is, is the soy okay. sauce. Okay, here we go. Great. Now, you can see the cucumbers and you can see the cilantro and everything else in it. Which is gorgeous. I'm ready. You know, I'll tell you what. Let me. Can I taste it? Uh -huh. Okay, let me taste it. Maybe. Mmm, mm, I like it. I like it. A little more soy sauce. A little bit. Right, but I can taste that pepper in there. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> With me, soy sauce is such a wonderful part of a lot of dishes that I just love it. But that's really pretty. And that was so simple to make. Absolutely. That part of it was so simple. Now, when do you add this to it? Okay, we're, uh, that's not being added to it. It's that's a, something that's else? That's ingredient altogether. Okay. I'm going to throw these in the trash. Just give them to me. They're right here. Okay, okay. now what? <clears throat> we'll put this aside. Okay, put this aside. I'm going okay. to drain put this the water here? out of this. Yep. Okay. I'm going to drain the water out of this in the colander. Okay. And we go to the second part of the step? This colander is already okay. has some carrot in it, so it'll be okay. And, Chef, we're going to take a break on that note. We'll be right back on the Chef, you and I, after these messages.